Deus in adutorium meum intende Domine ad adorandum me festina Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Alleluia. Magnae Deus potentiae, qui ex aquis ortum genus, partim lemitis corgiti, partim levas in aera, de immersa lymphis imprimens, subvecta celis irrogans, Ut stirpe una prodita, diversa repleant loca. Partire cunti servulis, quos mundat unda sanguinis, ne escire lapsus criminum, ne fere mortis tedium. Ut colpa nullum deprimat, nullum levet iactansia, elis amens ne concidat, elat amens ne coruat. Resta pater pis in me, patrique compar unice, Cum spiritu paraclito, regnans per omni seculum. Amen. I cried to you, Lord, and you healed me. I will praise you forever. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me, and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, I cried to you for help, and you, my God, have healed me. raised my soul from the dead, restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. Sing songs to the Lord, you who love him, give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts but a moment, his favor through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. I said to myself, in my good fortune, nothing will ever disturb me. Your favor had set me on a mountain fastness. Then you hid your face and I was put to confusion. To you, Lord, I cried. To my God I made appeal. What profit would my death be my going to the grave can dust give you praise or proclaim your truth the lord listened and had pity the lord came to my help for me you have changed my mourning into dancing you removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. So my soul sings songs to you unceasingly. O Lord my God, 
I will thank you forever. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. I cried to you, Lord, and you healed me. I will praise you forever. The one who is sinless in the eyes of God is blessed indeed. Happy the man whose offense is forgiven, whose sin is remitted. O happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit is no guile. I kept it secret and my frame was wasted. I groaned all the day long, for night and day your hand was heavy upon me. Indeed, my strength was dried up as by the summer's heat. But now I have acknowledged my sins my guilt I did not hide. I said I will confess my offense to the Lord, and you, Lord, have forgiven the guilt of my sin. So let every good man pray to you in the time of need. The floods of water may reach high, but him they shall not reach. You are my hiding place, O Lord. You save me from distress. You surround me with cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will give you counsel with my eye upon you. Be not like the horse and mule unintelligent, needing bridle and bit, else they will not approach you. Many sorrows has the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, loving mercy surrounds him. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, exalt you just. O come, ring out your joy, all you upright of heart. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. The one who is sinless in the eyes of God is blessed indeed. The Father has given Christ all power, honor, and kingship. All people will obey him. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power, You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath. And the moment to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, Love for life did not deter them from death. 
So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. The Father has given Christ all power, honor, and kingship. All people will obey him. A reading from the first epistle of St. Peter. There is cause for rejoicing here. You may for a time have to suffer the distress of many trials, but this is so that your faith, which is more precious than the passing splendor of fire-tried gold, may by its genuineness lead to praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ appears. Although you have never seen him, you love him, and without seeing, you now believe in him and rejoice with inexpressible joy touched with glory, because you are achieving faith's goal, your salvation. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. Honey from the rock to your heart's content, Bread of the finest wheat. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. God has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. God has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. Our hope is in our God who gives us help. Let us call upon him and say, Look kindly on your children, Lord. Lord our God, you made an eternal covenant with your people. Keep us ever mindful of your mighty deeds. Look kindly on your children, Lord. Let your ordained ministers grow toward perfect love and preserve your faithful people in unity by the bond of peace. Look kindly on your children, Lord. Be with us in our work of building the earthly city that in building we may not labor in vain. Look kindly on your children, Lord. Send workers into your vineyard, 
and glorify your name among the nations. Look kindly on your children, Lord. Welcome into the company of your saints, our relatives and benefactors who have died. May we share their happiness one day. Look kindly on your children, Lord. Let us conclude our prayers with the Lord's prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, you illumine the night and bring the dawn to scatter darkness. Let us pass this night in safety. Free from Satan's power, and rise when the morning comes to give you thanks and praise. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil. And bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater misericordiae, vita dolcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamos, exoles filii eve. A te suspiramos, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos, a nos converte. Et Jesu, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clement, O pia, O Chi